Hey, this is Jason Roselle, and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal. I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? We'll get ready because the show starts now. Are you doing what you love and loving what you do? Yeah, funny question, but a real awesome question. So many people that I work with here in the United States, overseas, Latin America, whether it's in their fitness, their wellness, their businesses, their branding, there's a good percentage of people that honestly are doing things for others, right? Haven't you done a lot of things in your life for others, but you're really not loving the process? That's when you have to put a big stop sign in front of you and say, wait a minute, let me stop. Let me realize, is this my passion, right? A lot of times when people wanna work with me to say whether it's lose weight, gain weight, get toned up, right? In that particular department, I'm asking it why? I'm asking them, why, why, why do you want this? Oh, I wanna feel comfortable with myself, but I really just wanna get accepted. I see these people on Instagram, Facebook. I see these models, these celebrities. They're liked, I wanna be liked. Right then and there, they're going about it the wrong way, right? And I'm talking about just in fitness, but this applies in any and all categories. If you're not loving what you do and loving literally every moment of it, you got to switch it up. You got to make things work for you, right? Example, I have tons of workout DVDs through my fitness company, Caliente Fitness, right? Not one program is going to be as awesome for one individual as it is for another, right? You just can't have that happen. I wish that would be amazing, right? Same thing with fat loss food program, same thing with branding coaching. How I coach one individual and their business is gonna be very different from a different business storefront that the other person has, right? I have a client that when it comes to business and branding, he's always coming up with ideas and starts up businesses and I'm like, oh wow, this seems pretty cool. Do you love it? Do you believe in this product? A lot of times I'm hearing no, not really, but I, it's kind of gimmicky. I think it'll make a lot of money. They're going about it the wrong way, right? Sometimes you got to put that big stop sign in front of you and say, wait a minute, let me hit the reset button. Ask yourself why you're doing it, right? Is it for you? Is it a passion project? Is it just to make quick bucks? Because I can tell you, just like losing weight or gaining some major muscle in your body, right? You want to get lean, you want to get tight. If you're going for instantaneous results, right, or a quick buck, longevity wise, you are not gonna be happy. You gotta make sure you're doing things from your heart, right? Because when you, when you do things with love and passion, the rest unfolds. Ask any millionaire, <clears throat> ask any billionaire, right? They didn't just get lucky. Sure, luck has a little bit to do with it sometimes, but what I want you to really focus on is they're telling you, especially if you read books and you're watching documentaries, they did it because they really loved it. They really believed in it, right? I never want you doing anything, and I'm giving you the same advice I give my one-on-one -on -one clients, whether it's on the phone or Zoom weekly. You gotta make sure you're doing everything you do with a purpose. Everything in your life has to have a purpose. Ask yourself, what's your big why? Is it, is it giving you butterflies in your stomach? Is it making your hairs throughout your body stand up, right? Because you love it so much. 
A lot of people say, you know, hey, do you do you love what you do? Do you ever feel feel tired? I can honestly say, to me, I don't work just to work and fill in time. I love what I do. So to me, it's not really work, right? I get so many benefits from all the things I do, whether it's all the coaching, whether it's relationship coaching, fitness coaching, business coaching, to writing books, creating recipes, selling real estate, right? Being on television shows, being able to help people augmentate their life. I thrive off of this, right? And I love it. And a lot of times when I'm working one-on-one with clients, especially in their business, whether they're working for others, but specifically when they have their own business or they're a new business or a new coach in the field, right? A lot of times they're not quite sure why they're doing it, except like, oh, I think it'll be cool. You know, I mean, if, if I do good in my business, I can help others. And, you know, if I lost some weight, I can help others. If this is not your passion, if you're not really loving it, right? Long-term success ain't gonna be there. That's just as simple as I can break it down. I want you to write down on a piece of paper, what are some things that you 110% love? Whether it be cooking, whether it be reading, whether it be writing, right? Whether you're really good at a particular thing that you want it to come to life. Maybe it's never been done before. Maybe it's been done by thousands, right? But you want to create your own mix, your own mic mix, your own Jackie mix, your own Laylene mix, your own Jessica mix, whatever, right? I need you to really do the things that you do and make sure that you love them. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, what if I know if it's good for me, right? But I don't really love it. I need you to try not once, not five times, whether it be cooking, whether it be writing, whether it's a new field. I mean, for God's sakes, I add new categories to my life and my business every few years, right? If I've conquered, I move on. I still do what I have to do in those other areas, but I wanna consistently be growing and moving forward because at first, let's just take real estate, it's uncomfortable. I didn't, I, I've never sold real estate before. And I hate salespeople like selling, selling, selling. Like sure, I sell things, but I'm not in your face 24 seven, right? I need you to really figure out things that you love to do and things that you think you might be good at because you'll be surprised, right? And I can tell you firsthand, not just for myself, but like thousands of my clients, a lot of people did not like, including me, to cook. I really enjoy cooking now, right? I, back in the day, I hated working out. I hated eating a particular way, but now I love it because I set the tone for my lifestyle. So I want you to really dive deep, write your top 10 things that you love to do and top 10 things that you think you would wanna try and give it a full try, not once, not twice, not three times, but several times. Just like, say you ate sushi once, you didn't like it. Maybe you ate it a third time and you really did, right? That's just life, you know? And if you're not growing and if you're not learning, you're not living, right? Please leave your comments. I hope this episode and this message really touched you, whether you're watching me, whether you're listening to me on your favorite podcast platform, right? And make sure if you're watching this, subscribe to your Spotify, the iTunes to get inspired. Or if you're, you know, listening, Get onto the YouTube because there's certain episodes that I release individually that'll make it to other platforms. Listen, keep it caliente, stay inspired. I can't wait for you to write any comments and anything that's really helped you because we are a community and we are not forgotten, baby. Have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.